Hi, and welcome back to our channel Summaries of a Bookworm. Your number one place for all who need or like to listen to book summaries. Let's start with the book summary of today. Giovanni, a young man, rents a room in an old building owned by a family whose ancestor is one of the people who suffer in Dante's Inferno. It looks down on Dr. Rappuccini's lush inner garden, who is a neighbor. The most beautiful flower in the garden is a shrub that grows next to a broken fountain. It is full of deep purple flowers. Dr. Rappuccini takes care of his garden often, but he always wears heavy gloves and sometimes a face mask to protect himself. His beautiful daughter Beatrice, on the other hand, doesn't take any of these precautions, and she is the only one who touches the handsome plant with purple flowers. She takes care of it like it's her beloved sister. Giovanni has a letter of introduction to a university professor of medicine named Dr. Pietro Baglioni. His father used to know Dr. Baglioni. Dr. Baglioni tells him to stay away from Rappuccini because he is a brilliant scientist, but he is willing to use anything or anyone in his experiments. He knows a lot about poisons and is known to have made new kinds of herbs that are even more dangerous than those found in nature. Such details give Giovanni's wild ideas about the garden and the girl some truth. He once gave her a bouquet of flowers that seemed to die as soon as she picked it up. He also thought that a butterfly that flew close to her face had suddenly died in the air. Even though he is scared, he still goes into the garden when his landlady, Lisabetta, shows him a secret door into the inner courtyard. When Beatrice comes out to meet him, they feel an instant pull toward each other. When he asks for a flower from the bush by the broken fountain and reaches for one, Beatrice screams, grabs his hand, and tells him not to touch it. The place where she grabbed his hand hurts and is red the next morning. Giovanni keeps going to see Beatrice, but he is horrified to find that the flowers no longer stay fresh in his hands. As an experiment, he blows out a long breath on a spider in his room that is busy making a web. The spider curls up and dies right away. Giovanni walks around the streets of Padua, tormented by fear and anger. Dr. Baglioni sees him and figures out what's bothering him. Dr. Baglioni gives him a silver vial with an antidote in it. This antidote was made to stop the poisons that the Borgias used. He tells Giovanni to give the antidote to Beatrice so that she can get rid of the poisonous fumes she has been breathing. When Beatrice calls him from the garden again, he goes down to her with anger and hatred instead of love. He curses her because she gave him her poison and made him sick. Beatrice is hurt by what he says because she always thought he was safe as long as he didn't touch her or the flowers. He says she set him up to be trapped on purpose so they could both be alone and away from the rest of the world. This is something she strongly denies. I dreamed only to love you and be with you for a little while, and then let you go. For Giovanni, believe it or not, even though my body is fed poison, my spirit is made by God and needs love to live. Giovanni feels a little better and tells her that Dr. Baglioni gave him an antidote. Maybe both of them can get out of the garden. Beatrice agrees, but adds, I will drink, but you wait and see what happens. She does this, and then she dies at the feet of her father and Giovanni. Thank you for listening to our book summary. I hope we sparked your interest in the book. Please let us know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. Do you want to listen to more book summaries? Subscribe to us and you will get a notification every time we publish a new summary. Bye bye and see you next time.